I'm Blaine Sunder with AWS Training and Certification. I've been teaching technology for more years than I'm willing to admit. After spending time teaching the newspaper industry, I moved to AWS, where I've taught classes globally on many different disciplines, such as security, cloud architecture, DevOps, big data, AI and ML, and theater history. My mama was a teacher. My daddy was a teacher. My grandpa was a bartender. I was born for this. Hi, I'm Morgan Willis, a senior cloud technologist at AWS. I started in the IT world about 10 years ago, and along the way, I decided that I was missing something. I missed the helping and teaching aspect of IT that I had in my first job in IT support. So I went into teaching software development in different areas around the US, and then I eventually landed here at AWS where as a cloud technologist, I get to support others in their cloud journey every day. And I'm Rudy Chetty. I come from sunny Cape Town, South Africa, home of Biltong, Burvos, and Bunny Chow. I'm a solutions architect and have been with AWS for over three years. Teaching is my passion, and I can't wait for you to dive into the course and learn. Gia bonga gakulu, feels geluk, thanks a lot and good luck. This course is going to cover all the essential information that you need to understand to be comfortable discussing AWS, to know why it's beneficial to your business. AWS offers a massive range of services for every business, starting with basic elements like compute, storage, and network security tools, through complex solutions like blockchain, machine learning, or artificial intelligence, and robot development platforms all the way through very specialized tool sets like video production management systems and orbital satellites you can rent by the minute. All that, however, is way more than we have time to cover in a foundational class like this one. So let's simplify the conversation by starting with the fundamental cloud compute model. Almost all modern computing centers around a basic client-server model. Now, I know it can be more complicated than that, so let's take a look at our coffee shop. This coffee shop is going to give us some real world metaphors to help you understand why AWS can change the way your IT operates. Let's make Morgan the server, the barista, and I am the client, the customer. I make a request. In this case, it is for coffee. Now in the computing world, the request could be anything. It could be rain pattern analysis in South Africa, or the latest x-rays of your knee, or videos of kittens. Whatever is the business, basically a customer makes a request, and with permissions, the server responds to that request. All I want is a caffeinated beverage. Morgan represents the server part of the client-server model. In AWS, she would be called an Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, or EC2 an EC2 instance, a virtual server. So from an architectural point of view, the transaction we did is really simple to explain. I, the user, made a request to Morgan, the server. Morgan validated that the request was legitimate. In this case, did I give her money? Then she returned a response, which in this case is a berry blaster with extra caramel shots. Now, in the real world, applications can get more complicated than just a single transaction with a single server. In a business solution that is more mature, it can get beautifully complex. To avoid this complexity, we are going to start simple. We will build this discussion out so it is easy for anyone to understand how these concepts build on each other. So by the end, those complex concepts, they'll be easy to understand. Let's start with a key concept to AWS, and that is you only pay for what you use. This principle makes sense when you run a coffee shop. Employees are only paid when they're in the store working. If Rudy or Morgan are off the clock, well, then they don't get paid. The store owner simply decides how many baristas are needed and then just pays for the hours they work. For example, the coffee shop is about to release a new drink, the Pumpkin Monster Spice. In anticipation of this launch, you could always staff your shop with a dozen baristas all day long, just in case you suddenly get an unexpected rush at some point in the day. 
Only, let's be honest, for most of your day, you don't have near enough customers to justify paying for all those employees. And yet this is exactly what happens in an on-premises data center. You can't just snap your fingers and triple your capacity. At AWS, you don't prepay for anything and you don't have to worry about capacity constraints. When you need instances or baristas, you just click a button and you have them. Then when you don't need them, another click and they go away and you stop paying for them. The same way you don't pay for employees for hours that they're not working. So pay for what you need becomes the first key value of many for running your business on AWS. And that is really why we're here, to help you understand how AWS is built to help you run your business better. We hope you stick around for the entire course as we dive deeper into these concepts and help launch you on your journey towards being a cloud practitioner.